Well, the conditions in Puerto Rico have prompted some people to flee, and some are coming here to the valley. 3TV's Mallory Moore spoke with one man uh, from Puerto Rico who's now in Phoenix about what those conditions were like on the island. Yeah, exactly. I spoke to Jeffrey Wilson this afternoon, and he is one of those, one of the fortunate ones who has left Puerto Rico for a short time, he says. Now, he tells me he loves living there, but when I asked him what the conditions are like, he simply said, horrible. And experts now say Puerto Rico could see a big drop in population for the next decade or more. Now, Wilson told me he isn't permanently relocating, just wants to stay in the valley for a few weeks, get his back on his feet on the ground because the conditions are so bad. Now, the lack of power is really the biggest hurdle right now. Even those who have received power still struggle with blackouts. But Wilson says it's a lot more than just electricity. A portion of Puerto Rico still has no water. I was collecting rainwater just so I could flush my toilet. And I got my water back at day nine. I was fortunate. I'm still fortunate. 60% uh, of the island has communications, they claim, but I'll bet it's closer to 50. I asked him what he thinks about the response since the hurricane hit, and he says he actually appreciates what individuals and even some high-profile celebrities like Jennifer Lopez have done, but he says more has to be done. Now, Wilson also told me that he had to wait 10 days after the hurricane to get in touch with family and friends. They didn't even know if he was alive until he made that 30-second phone call, and he says he will return to the area once some communication issues improve, Derek.